Warning. Serious injury can result from experimentation with HHO or Brown's gas. Children should not attempt anything shown on this channel without close adult supervision. Even some big kids. Please, play it safe. I'm kind of curious to know how much uh, how much liquid this is going to hold. And you can see bubbles are rising as as the uh, chambers begin to fill. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit on that. Keep filling. And that right there is my one full liter. So I'm going to see if it stays within the uh, within the level of my bubbler, uh, I might just leave it Otherwise, I'll. Uh, uh, otherwise, I'll what? Mix up another half liter. So there's my one liter mark. So uh, what do you think? One point one liters total total capacity, something like that. And now I'm going to take my. Uh, VS50M power supply, the variable 50 amp DC supply. I'm going to start with a very low voltage and work my way up and watch the current meter as I increase the voltage to make sure I don't accidentally overrange it here. So let me, uh, huh. well, I'm done with this for now. Let me just set this aside. There we go. All right, power supply is on. Voltage is rising. All right, I've got uh, 14 volts. I've already I'm already producing some gas here, and I'm at less than one amp. Ooh, less than one amp. That is being produced with less than one amp of current going into the cell. Wow. If this wasn't a family show, I would use a different term right now. Wow. But here is one thing that I am very encouraged by. I am very encouraged by the fact that there's no foam. That in itself is very exciting. Let's think about this now. 10 grams to 1 liter gave me 1 amp. 20 grams to 1 liter should give me about 2 amps. That means 50 grams to a liter should give me about 5 to 10 amps, I would say. You know, I'm, I'm just shooting some rough, rough, rough numbers from past experience. So I'm trying to guesstimate how much more potassium hydroxide I'm going to mix into this uh, solution to try and arrive at my optimum target value. Okay, so that's how I get my uh, my original 
value for electrolyte concentration by experimentation. Um, I'm going to zoom out here. And I think at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my electrolyte, dump it back into my mixing container. I imagine I'm going to get pieces of uh, PVC chips floating out. This is not going as fast as I had hoped. But I kind of expected it because the, uh, the openings at the top are really intended for gas, not for fluid to flow through. Alright, that's going to have to do. I'm not going to wait for every last drop to drain out of here. What will happen is, as it, as it begins producing gas again, the, uh, the gas will cause a uh, convection effect through the plates and will suck fresh electrolyte in and it will mix throughout the cell by itself. So I'm just going to increase the concentration of the uh, water that I have drained out of it and then pour it back in, power it up, let it circulate for a little while and then it should even out. So now I'm going to go up to 50 grams of potassium hydroxide into one liter. So I need to add 40 grams more. That means I need a bigger container to measure it out into. And maybe I will just use the plastic tray that comes with the scale and just dump my uh, electrolyte into that. So let me turn it on. It will zero out. That's 40.3. Close enough for government work, as they say. All right, now I'm going to stir this quickly, get it off the bottom. I now have a solution that's going to give me an increase to a concentration of 50 grams potassium hydroxide per liter of water for this cell design. And the winner is... Looks like... Uh, about 6 amps. Okay, now this is somewhat interesting. With the increased uh, volume of gas production that you see going on right there, the level of the fluid has risen because some of the gas or some of the uh, some of the liquid in the tube has been displaced up into the bubbler chamber. That's kind of what I expected because uh, what happens is as the as the as the uh, gas is created, the level is going to push down, and some of the electrolyte did flow backward. Uh, I think it's time right now to do a uh, efficiency test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cap on the filler and I'm going to get a more accurate measurement on the current. I need to go, uh, I need to run back in the house for a second and get my clamp on DC ammeter. Give me a second, I'll be right back. <laughs> 